Signs are strong that the proposed out-of-court effort by the finance minister, Matea Kasaja, to reconcile the managing director of the NSSF and his deputy remains under test. The minister has this afternoon issued instructions to the NSSF board chairman, Patrick Biabakama, to have the roles of the two top officials clearly defined. I have therefore decided that the matter be resolved as follows. One, the NSSF board clearly spells out in writing by close of business today, so he has a big job to do tonight. The respective responsibilities for the managing director and the deputy managing director of the National Social Security Fund. But it's rather clear that in comparison to other statutory bodies, NSSF is a unique case as the board chairman, Biaba Kama, points out. Other models which are working, I think like you are right, where management really is under the board. Uh, uh, perhaps I think it is a good model. But if you look into the NSSF Act of 1985, it is spelled out three offices. MD, Deputy MD, Corporation Secretary, will be appointed by the, uh, by the, the minister. minister. So, uh, and changing the law at times takes a bit of time, but there are certainly uh, clauses there. I think also in Ubra, uh, uh, which is managing the pension sector, which needed a view. Last week, the Minister for Finance, Matia Kasaja, asked the civil division of the High Court to grant him an opportunity to resolve the sour working relationship between MD Richard Biarugaba and his deputy Geraldine Sali Busurwa. On condition that Mrs. Geraldine Sali Busurwa withdraws her suit against the fund, the board immediately reinstates Mrs. Geraldine Sali Busurwa, deputy manager director of the National Social Security Fund back to her office to work in line with the clear responsibilities as, outra as I have said. And before Minister Kasaja's intervention, Deputy Managing Director Busulwa last month ran to court in pursuit of a judicial review against her being sent on forced leave and subsequently a suspension of her alleged insubordination. An interim order granted by the High Court Registrar Alex Ajiji against the board's purported disciplinary action against her was flatly rejected by the NSSF.